Getting a good night's sleep can be much easier said than done. But don't worry, because our good friends at CBDMD have exactly what you need to help you unwind and sleep harder than all-star voters slept on Bam Adebayo. Touché. Sleep PM bath salts fuse superior CBD and melatonin with a mixture of Epsom, Dead Sea, and Himalayan salts to turn any bathtub into a luxury spa experience and give you the relaxation you desperately deserve. And to make it even easier to relax, regroup, and recharge, they're offering all our listeners 25% off your next order when you use the promo code NBA at checkout. Once again, that's CBDMD.com. Promo code's NBA for 25% off your purchase of superior CBD products from CBDMD. In today's show, we're looking at sell high options for fantasy basketball. Michael Bolton. Thanks, Josh. It's Michael Bolton here, and it's time for another episode of the Locked On Fantasy Basketball Podcast. Let's get to it. Let's get to it, indeed. You are Locked On Fantasy Basketball, your daily fantasy basketball podcast, part of the Locked On Podcast Network. Hello and welcome to the Locked On Fantasy Basketball Podcast brought to you by Basketball Monster. My name is Josh Lloyd and I am the lead fantasy analyst at BasketballMonster.com and at Yahoo Sports Australia. And you can find me on Twitter as always at RedRock underscore B-Ball and on Instagram at Locked On Fantasy Basketball. Deluge of shows today, Waiver Wire Show, Buy Low Show, Sell High Show. Now let's talk about it right as we uh, get into it. And a guy that I think is a sell high. Is Vucevic. Yes, Nikola Vucevic, I think, is a sell-high player. Um, and there's, there's a reason for that. Look, he's awesome. He's been awesome all season. I don't think anybody is denying that from Vuce. But the current level of production that he's putting up, it feels a bit inflated. Because over the last two weeks, he's the seventh-ranked player. He's averaging 30 and 12. He's shooting 51% from the field and 100% from the line. Can he continue to do some of that stuff? Sure. 100% from the line? Probably not. 85? Yeah. 84? Yeah. No worries. But it's the 33-34% usage, which is going to take a hit when Aaron Gordon returns. And it's probably going to have somewhat of an impact when Cole Anthony replaces Michael Carter-Williams. Not that Cole Anthony is a great player, but he's a higher usage player than Carter-Williams. Given the scenario in Orlando, Vooch has had to up his usage with Fournier in and out as well, and it's panned out well, but I just don't think he's going to play 35 minutes a night, taking 24 shots per game with a 33 usage. So he probably comes back to being a mid-second round player, a 15 to 18 type guy, but not a top seven player. So the other thing with Vooch is there is talk about trades, and if I was the Magic, and you can see me take care of the Magic in my 2K21 Orlando Magic rebuild, He's gone. Like, I'm trading him away because I want to get something back for him in a deal. Same with Fournier, same with Gordon, and to try and build for the future. Now, I don't think the Magic will do that. We hear all this talk of um, your team's interested. And if he does get traded, his value almost assuredly takes a hit. Like, absolute guarantee. Not a guarantee, but close enough to a guarantee that his value takes a hit if he's traded. So he's not a guy that you just move on from. You don't just sell him high. If someone wants to give you top 10 numbers back, and over the last month, he's the 10th ranked player, so it's not crazy, but if someone wants to give you top 10 numbers back for Nikola Vucevic, you do it. If they say, no, he's getting traded, no, it's going to drop off, then they think the same thing as you, and you just hold tight, and you and you ride it out, and because it's not 100% guarantee that it gets significantly worse than this, so you ride it out. And that's all, all about what sell highs are, are about, and trades in general. I think we have to have a look at uh, Colin Sexton, as well as uh, as an option here as a sell high player. Now he was a guy that was on my buy low show a couple of weeks ago because a lot of stuff fell right off from him. But he's now putting up numbers which are in- insane. Over the last week, he's the twelfth ranked player. Forty three minutes a night. Then there's your absolute number one red flag. Forty three minutes a night. It's unsustainable. He doesn't even play for Thibodeau. Like that's unsustainable. Thirty three points on thirty three usage. It's pretty high. Nance. Love are going to return. That's going to have an impact on that. He's also averaging 2.7 steals with seven assists. Now, you can say that he's improved his assists, and I will believe you. Um, He is not a three steals per game guy. He is not a 33.43 minute per game guy. He's a guy that you look at as a top 60 player, 
If you can get a top 40 guy, a top 30 guy back in a trade, you would absolutely do it. If someone offers you top 50 in a trade, you don't. You just sort of hold on. But he is absolutely rolling at the moment. And he's, it's not coming on crazy shooting. 39 from three, 52 from two. That's fine. 49, 82 overall from the field and from the line. That's fine. It's seven assists. It's 43 minutes. It's 33 usage and it's 2.7 steals. They're all the things that I think are going to come down. This one's an obvious one. Nerlens Noel of the New York Knicks. Now, in saying this, I do think that there is a possibility that Noel remains the starter when Mitchell Robinson comes back. I also think there's a possibility that they play 24 minutes apiece. I don't think there's a possibility that he plays 40 minutes a night, which he has over the last four games, where he's the top 15, uh, 15th ranked player, averaging 10 boards, two steals, 2.5 blocks on 78% shooting. Hasn't missed a free throw. Only taken four, but hasn't missed one. I don't think that continues. Could he continue at 32 minutes a night with Robinson playing 16? Yeah, Tom Thibodeau does shit, dumb shit all the time. Is there a, a world where Noel is a better win-now player than Mitch Robinson? I've, absolutely. I would argue that's a real possibility that right here and right now. Is he a bigger part of the future? No, of course not. But this is Tom Thibodeau. He doesn't give a shit about the future. He, he, he honestly, he would eat like a bowl of, a bowl of chili and, and peppers, not understand that his asshole's going to burn when he goes to the toilet later on because, you know, f- future consequences, that's something for future Tom to, to worry about. Not for current Tom, not for present Tom. We don't worry about that. We just eat all the chilies right now. And then if our ass is on fire later on, that future Tom can deal with that. Don't worry about it. So if he, if Thibodeau thinks that Noel is a better player than Robinson, and I don't think he, I don't think he's wrong in that. I'm not sure that he's right, but I don't think he's wrong. Um, Noel can maintain value. Now I'm trying to tell you he's a sell high here based on all this. Um, so don't be selling him like, uh, just, mate. If I can get any top 100 guy back, I'll be happy. I wouldn't be doing that. I'd be, I'd be writing it out. With that 45% chance that he sticks in a 30-minute-a-night role, maybe it's 30% chance. Um, but if someone wants to give me a top 20 player back, or even a top 30 player back, then then I do it, that I trade him. If someone wants to give me a top 80 player back, I say, you yeah, know, let's just, I'll, let me hold. Let me just see what happens. That That's probably how I'd be looking at it with Nerlens Noel. The headmaster, Jamal Murray. Actually, you know what? We'll talk about the Jamal Murray later on because it's a great way for me to segue to tell you about this episode's sponsor, and that is Blue Chew. Blue Chew is making waves. They're bringing more confidence to the bedroom and straight to Instagram Live. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but it's in chewable form, and it's at a fraction of the cost. Blue Chew's tablets combat all forms of erectile dysfunction and can help men gain extra confidence when it's time to perform. The process is simple. You sign up at bluechew.com and you consult with one of their licensed medical providers. And once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online. Blue Chew's licensed medical providers work with you to find the right ingredient and strength for your prescription. Blue Chew's Sildenafil and Tadalafil are chewable. Chewable tablets, awesome stuff. Made in the USA and they prepare and ship direct so it's cheaper than a pharmacy. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code Locked On at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code Locked On to receive your first month free. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. In a totally unrelated segue, now let's talk about Jamal Murray. Murray is on fire at the moment. He is the fourth ranked player over the last two weeks. Why? He's shooting 59% from the field, which includes 51% from three. There's your absolute giveaway that it's not going to stick. He's playing 37 minutes a night without um, Gary Harris, without Paul Millsap, without Jermichael Green. They're relying upon him heavily. He's hitting 95% from the line. The dude's a great free throw shooter. I don't think he's a 94% guy. He might be 88%, but he's not 94%. And that's really what's happening here. Is he shooting the lights out? 64% on twos, 51% from threes. Bullshit, that's not continuing. 37 minutes, that's going to ease off somewhat. And even the 27 usage might come down somewhat too. So when we look at Murray, I look at him as a top 40 player, maybe top 35, but there is some significant room for regression in what he's currently doing. And lastly, for category leagues, let's talk Victor Oladipo. This might be a tougher one to pull off. I do think there is a pretty high chance he gets traded. And I think whenever he gets traded, he will not have the 30% usage that he's had as a member of the Houston Rockets. Sure, might he shoot better than 47% true shooting? Probably, but maybe not. Over the last week, he is the 24th ranked player, averaging 27, 5, and 4. 
but importantly, the thing that made him that top 10 player two years ago, three years ago, um, was big steals and big blocks. Over the last week, 2.3 steals and one block per game. Over the last four games, 2.3 steals and 1.8 blocks. Over the last month, 1.8 steals. Those numbers are coming back. I'm not convinced they stay at that level because it's a really high level. And you pair that with the usage and the minutes probably dropping if he does get traded, or even if he doesn't get traded with the Rockets. I don't think he maintains 37 minutes a night and 32% usage. I, I think we look at him as a player who we need to look at maybe as a top 70 guy, maybe top 80, not top 30, and not top 40. So if you can get one of those guys back in a deal, I think you'll be going okay. Let's have a look now at some points league options. Options We talked about um, this fella. It's Bosa. It's Big Bosa. Bosa is it. Bosa um, bitch. Sorry, Perk. Sorry for interrupting. Yeah, look, it's the same sort of stuff with him. He's averaging 54 fantasy points over the last two weeks. That's a pretty easy one to try and get some value back. And the same with the Padawan, Colin Sexton, who's averaging 51 fantasy points over the last week, of course, in 43 minutes per game. So there is some sell high value there, I think. The other one we're going to talk about is Norman Powell. The last three games, no Siakam, no Van Vliet, no Ananobi. Um, he's played 36 minutes. He's averaging 40 fantasy points. His usage has been up. I think he's more of a 23, 24% usage guy rather than 27 usage, which has currently been ha- happening. And But th- there is a chance that Kyle Lowry is traded. I don't believe it happens, but there is a trans- chance that Kyle Lowry is traded. There's a chance also that they bring in another center, which pushes that small ball lineup out and Powell back to the bench. He's a 35th ranked player with 40 fantasy points per game in the last week. I think that you should be looking at him more as a top 80 fantasy point per game guy. So if I can get any top 50 player or top 60 player back, a 34, 33 fantasy point per game guy back in a trade for Powell, I absolutely do it. He's averaging 33 over the last two months. Oh, sorry, over the last month. If you can get a 31 point guy back, I'd do pretty okay with that in a deal for Norm Powell. PJ Washington Jr., 39 and a half fantasy points over the last week, 19, 8, and 3. It's been some inconsistency there with ups and downs, but big steal numbers, good block numbers, good scoring, good rebounding. He's at 29 points per game on the year, 39 over the last week, 32 over the last two weeks for PJ. Um, I I think we view him more as that 30 point per game player. So if you can get 32 points back, I think that's a pretty good deal in a trade for PJ Washington. And then lastly, Ennis Cantor. Now I talked about guys, you know, you just don't want to, you know, don't just accept any top 100 player back. Uh, Ennis Cantor, accept any top 100 player back. He's averaging 30 fantasy points per game this year, 36 over the last two weeks, which is 49th in Yahoo Standard Points Leagues. But Yusuf Nurkic is going to return, and Cantor is not going to play 25 minutes a night when Nurkic is back. He might play 22 minutes a night initially, and I think it drops down to 18, 19 minutes a night later on. And that pushes him outside the top 100, in my opinion. So I think we've got to look at him as a guy that you maybe you sacrifice stuff initially, in terms of a deal to get rid of Ennis Cantor, you sacrifice a week of top 100 numbers, but then when everything you know comes down to it later on, I think you uh, you'll be pretty happy that you moved off of him for a top 100 player. Guys, it's that time of year. Built Bar Madness. We've been telling you about Built Bar, the best tasting protein bar on the market for a while now. Built Bar is the amazing low calorie, low sugar, high protein, high fiber, amazing tasting protein bar with 100% chocolate on all bars. And now it's time to find out which Built Bar is the best. Built Bar Madness. Today's matchup, we've got two matchups today, in fact, where we're looking at, now where's my matchups? There they are. We're looking at Banana and Upbread and Toffee Almond. Banana and Upbread, easy for me. Smash that, easy. Matchup two, Orange versus Peanut Butter. Orange every day of the week. First round pick. Orange in the Built Bar matchup. Absolutely love that one. So go to builtbar.com or go to Twitter at built underscore bar and you can vote in your matchup. Remember, use the promo code locked on 20 to get 20% off your next order. That is locked on 20 to get 20% off your next order at builtbar.com and check back to see who won today's matchup or and who will become the best tasting protein bar. Bet online is the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your sports action. Football might be over, but the NBA, college basketball, and the NHL are in full swing. Bet online even covers awards, TV shows, and reality TV. Real time updated odds and props on almost anything you can imagine. Bet online has you covered for all the news, scores, and odds, and it's the best way to place your bets, and it's free to sign up. 
Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. The website is betonline.ag and the promo code is locked on to get that 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. BetOnline are your online sportsbook experts. And that, guys, will do it for my sell high video. I'll be back tomorrow with the standard recap show, with a mailbag show, with a pregame show, with a what to watch for show. All that's coming back tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed these little surprise mini shows that you got today. Subscribe, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, and on YouTube, guys. We are done here. Thank you so much for listening, everyone. See ya. <laughs>